Tomorrow's the election, and it's super exciting. You want to make your own voting system in Scratch? It's super easy, and I'll show you how. Who are you going to vote for? This is going to be pretty cool. Okay, I've grabbed this picture. I know I'm not supposed to, but come on, this is so exciting. Then I put it as a backdrop in my game, and I've added one sprite, which is the check mark, because it's going to be vote for Biden or vote for Trump. Pretty cool. So now this check mark is where I'm going to throw my code or put my code. I'm not going to put any code on the stage, the backdrop. I'm putting it right on the check mark, and I'm gonna say, if you're voting for Trump, put the check mark over Trump. I'm gonna use the glide to, because I like the animation. So I'll say, if you're voting for Trump, glide to this position. If you're voting for Biden, let's watch this. I'll drag it over here. Then you'll glide to that position. Here it is right here. So this is a vote for Biden. This is a vote for Trump. How do I decide? Let's use an if else statement. So go in the control, and you're gonna grab this if else there. Now we said this one's for Biden and then the other one's for Trump. Or if you can't remember, just click on them, you'll see. You click on this one, it goes to Trump. If you click on this one, it goes to Biden. So let's put it in like this and we'll go to sensing. This is the secret to using the mouse positioning. You have a code block called mouse X, which holds the value of mouse X. Let me just show you a little secret here. Let's make a variable. Well, we already have a variable called my variable, and let's see what the value of mouse x is. We'll say forever set my value to mouse x, and we'll wrap that in a forever loop. Put a start flag on there. Now when we start the game, you'll see, okay, wherever the mouse, wherever the pointer goes, that changes the mouse x. Well, this is nice because right in the middle, you'll see it is zero. And then when it goes towards Trump, it goes positive. When it goes away from Trump, it goes negative. So we can say, if we, we can, so we can say if mouse X is greater than zero, we're voting for Trump. Let's just check this. Whoops, fire this code. Yep, this works correctly. So if mouse X is greater than zero, vote for Trump. Otherwise, go to Biden. Now, we'll want this to follow our mouse pointer. So let's go ahead and wrap this in a forever loop because we want it to forever be following our mouse pointer. And I'll put a starting flag on it. And here we go. Pretty cool. There's a little bit of a delay, that one second. So let's adjust that down to 0.25. We want it to be smooth, but not clunky like that. There we go. Oh, I like that. Now. When is the voting actually gonna happen? It's when you either click, but if you're on the wrong candidate and you click and you're like, oh no, you really wanna wait until the person stops clicking and then submit the vote. So let's move this code over and do something very similar. Now let's say when the game starts, Let's wait a second before anything happens, just in case the person clicks like immediately and it votes for somebody that they don't want to vote for. Then let's use the wait until. Here it is. We're going to wait until the mouse is down. So go to sensing and you'll see mouse is down. That way, when we click, it will vote. But what if you're hovering on the wrong candidate? You're like, oh, I meant to vote for Trump but it already voted. Let's wait till the mouse is clicked down and then released. This is a pretty cool trick. We're gonna duplicate this. We're gonna wait until the mouse is down and then once it's down, we're gonna wait till it's not down. <laughs> right here, grab the not. I know this is getting so confusing, but it works beautifully. Okay, wait till it's not down and then we're gonna grab this mouse X block right here. We're just gonna duplicate it. Well, I didn't need to pull it. I just needed that. And I'm going to say if, watch this, control, we're going to grab that if else statement one more time. We're going to say if mouse X is greater than zero, which means it's on the Trump side, that we're going to vote for Trump. So let's go ahead and make an event that says broadcast and wait. And we're going to make a new message called vote Trump. There we go. And obviously, if it's not for Trump, this is the nice part about this code, if the mouse isn't greater than zero, then it must be less than, and therefore it's going to Biden. Vote Biden. 
Okay, boom. So jump into variables over here and we're gonna make a new variable. So we're gonna say Trump votes and we're gonna click on cloud variable. If you don't have cloud variables, it's because you haven't been using Scratch for very long. Just keep using Scratch and pretty soon you'll be a scratcher and have access to cloud variables. Okay, I'm gonna click okay. And now we're gonna make another variable called Biden votes. Whoops, caption. Biden votes, and we'll say, okay. Let's go ahead and put these in the correct spot. There we go, Trump votes. And I'm gonna move this down here. We don't actually need that. And Biden votes, there we go. All right, they're in the right spot. So now broadcast Biden vote. <laughs> Okay, they're in the right spots. It's looking pretty good. So what's gonna happen when you broadcast a Biden vote? Let's go ahead and go to, let's go to events and we'll say when I receive uh, vote Biden and when I receive vote Trump, that these thing, actions are going to happen. So let's have it go to variables and let's have it change Biden votes by one and change Trump votes by one. Now, now you can add a lot of other things that this function is gonna do, or this message is gonna do, but for right now, I'm just gonna stick to that. Now, once the voting has happened, we wanna stop everything so they can't immediately vote again. So let's go ahead and attach this stop all right here. Let's put a stop all here. All right, <laughs> let's put as many stop alls as we can. Now there's much better systems for doing this because they could just hit the green flag again. Shh. But for now, it should work. Okay, so um, I'm selecting, I'm gonna vote for Biden. Okay, can I vote for Trump? No, pretty much froze up. Let's try it again, and this time, let's vote for Trump. It worked. Hey, good luck building your own voting system, and good luck to the candidates tomorrow. Don't forget to check out my Scratch show on YouTube. I'll see you next time.